The Arctic is a challenging area. You have 24 hours of daylight in the summertime, and in wintertime you have 24 hours of completely darkness. You have extreme cold, you have extreme winds. Uh, as a cold climate engineer, you need to have... Uh, it's great to have experience in the Arctic areas. That's where you understand the remoteness, uh, the lack of infrastructure, the sensitive environment, uh, the indigenous peoples uh, living, living off the land. So we need specialized engineers that know the environment, that knows the ice, knows the cold, knows the darkness. To become a good Arctic engineer, you need to have the desire, the wish for breaking the borders, entering new frontiers, be out there where nobody has been before. You have to uh, know how to react when it's uh, cold, uh, when there's permafrost, uh, when it's snowing, when it's windy, and you have to be creative. For going to a remote place, a place where um, very few people can go. And for, for this university uh, collaboration, having the opportunity to go to locations like Greenland and, and Svalbard is, is, uh, is really a great opportunity. The first time you go there, it's like entering the land of your dreams, it's vast, you have high mountains, you have the blue sea, you see the white icebergs. I think everyone will uh, enjoy it because it's so uh, different from what you see elsewhere. Being on Svalbard for the first time and it was minus 35 degrees, strong gale, pitch black. <laughs> then I thought, oh, this is a nice place. <laughs>